Welcome to Long Run. I'm Joel. And I'm Christy. Well, what are you doing today? <laughs> I am making the monthly meal plan, and I'd love for y'all to join me. All right, I'm going to work. <laughs> All right, so um, I am now going to share my meal plan on the screen here. Uh, there we go. And that's what it looked like at the end of May. This is May 31st, so it's literally what it looks like. Um, and the lines where I have lines drawn through and uh, bolded, those are the meals that we actually got to. And then the ones that are not bolded are the ones that we did not get to. So as you can see, we didn't get to almost two weeks worth of meals. So um, just we kept pushing things back or making things stretch out. And I think like uh, on Memorial Day, we decided to, I think it was going to be the cheeseburger and fries right there. And what we did instead was like do a whole grill out thing with hamburgers and sausage and chicken and stuff like that. And then we used the food that we would have used that, like the leftovers of that for like two more nights after that. Um, we on the third night we made quesadillas with the leftover chicken stuff like that so that's one of the reasons why we didn't get to some of it was just because we kept uh, like we made such a big meal on Memorial Day so all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut for a second and I'm going to go ahead and clean this up and basically by clean up I mean I'm going to take out all that stuff that we've already eaten and I'm going to um, uh, put the stuff that we have left I'm going to put that in the uh, June meal plan because the, there's no reason to create more meals ideas if I still have some so I'll do that and then after that, we'll come back. I'll show you what I have. And then we'll start looking around for some ideas of other meals to fill in for the rest of the month. Okay. So here I've moved around all the meals that I have left. And as you can see, I'm good for the first two weeks. Um, I've also already added in for that Sunday grill out. That is actually Father's Day. Truth is, we'll probably take Joel out to eat. We usually do something that I don't know that this is what he'll want to do. We'll see. But a lot of times he likes to go to a place like um, a wings place because I don't really like that. So we don't normally go there. So that's like his Father's Day treat is to go somewhere where he really likes to go. <laughs> so anyway, but we'll see. Right now I have grilled out and I'll just make sure that I have enough meat in there like hamburgers and chicken and stuff like that to cover grilling out okay okay i'm going to open up pinterest and look at some of the recipes i have there and i set it scheduled out some specifically um be, like i i was searching because i want to try a few new recipes for a video that hopefully I'll get to maybe in July, but I need to go ahead and start making those recipes now so that, um, or at least in the upcoming weeks so that I'll have it. And um, I know that we're gonna try this slow cooker berry cobbler and we're gonna try the lemon garlic shrimp pasta and the creamy chicken pesto pasta. And I think I was going to make sure that I did that. Yeah, and the berry. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what I'm going to do, actually, three of those recipes I may not make until July 4th. Yeah. Because um, I'll make, we'll make the these grilled hamburger sliders right here, um, and the and the berry cobbler on July fourth, and we'll also make chicken, and I'll use that chicken leftover chicken to make this creamy chicken pesto pasta the next day. 
So that's three of them. And the fourth one is going to be this lemon garlic shrimp pasta. So I'm going to go ahead and plan it for June so that when I'm done with the July 4th one, I'll have all the recipes done. And like I said, I'll, I'll have a recipe coming up for that soon. All right. So back to the grocery list. That might be a good recipe for a Monday, right? Actually, no, that's... I like to do chicken and then a beef recipe and then maybe chicken and chicken again and then shrimp. I know a lot of people do theme nights, but I do protein nights. Like, like I said, like I'll have chicken one night, beef one night, chicken again, but like a different recipe. And then maybe shrimp or something with some sausage in it so that I'm not, I'm not scheduling like three chicken recipes in a row. Like it just keeps it from getting bland. And like I said, I do it like a, instead of a theme night, I do a protein night so that I can make sure that the protein is different every, every night. All right. So, um, Let's see, I have a recipe list here, this button right there, and it will give me a listing of a lot of the chicken recipes that we do. And uh, that will help me make a decision on what chicken I want to do. These are our tried and true ones. They're ones that we always go to. Let's see. Okay, so we're going to do a chicken and gravy. That's a slow cooker recipe. It only takes just a, a few ingredients and then you just match it with some rice and maybe some roasted broccoli or something like that. So it's pretty simple and we always have leftovers from that. And let's see, okay, if we grill out, we'll have hamburgers that night. So I'm not gonna put a beef dish here. Instead, I'm gonna go over here to this lemon garlic Pasta, lemon garlic shrimp pasta. I'll put a little asterisk there so I remember it's a new recipe. Okay, so for Thursday, we're gonna go back to our recipe list and we're gonna see if we can see something else maybe that might catch our eye. Um, and I think since that was a shrimp dish, we would go with chicken again. Uh, the reason why I do chicken much more often is because I really feel like beef is something that I get tired of really fast. And, you know, like, like, I think like you should probably have that in moderation. You don't have it at every meal. So that's why we do one. So, um, so we will go with something else uh, as another chicken type of recipe. Let me go with this uh, chicken burrito skillet. And then we have breakfast foods. I have breakfast foods listed just about every Friday is like a thing because if anything pushes our meal plan back, the, the things that we normally have for breakfast foods is like eggs and bacon and stuff like that. And so it's not things that really go bad. Um, there's not a lot of fresh produce that you have to worry about keeping fresh. So that's why I normally do that. Okay. Let's see for that Sunday, we're going to go back to our list. Oh, I know we can go to, uh, we can get another whole chicken and make a spatchcock chicken. And then we can take the leftover chicken from that because we always have enough for a meal that generally even has leftovers. And so we could make, okay, so uh, the recipes that I have listed here that are in bold red, those are actually recipes that you can use for leftover uh, chicken. So that's why what I'm looking at there. And I'm thinking that it might be fun to make the cracked chicken spaghetti again. 
I like that. I like anything that has the cracked chicken flavor. Usually have leftovers of that. And then Wednesday would be, let's do something with some ground beef. Let's do the Mexican beef and rice skillet. Doesn't, it isn't very um, time consuming, so it won't have your stove on for very long. And it's just done on the stove top. All right, and then Thursday, Getting close. Thursday's the 27th. I still have pulled pork, so we can pull that one for that night. And then one more Sunday meal. Uh, Low Country Skillet is such a great recipe, and it doesn't take long at all. And Sunday's a really good day because you do buy spinach and um, potatoes for it. So you don't have to worry about keeping it as long. Or like we, we don't because we buy our groceries like on Saturday. So we'd only have to keep them fresh for one day. So, um, so this is the whole month's meal plan. Um, so let me just tell you like really quickly. Um, I keep my ingredient list here. This is what was left from last month and so i'll have to do some moving around on those and then as far as the new stuff that i've listed like this lemon garlic shrimp pasta this is so easy such an easy way to to uh write down your ingredients just like that click there to copy and paste and then you go back to that ingredient page and then you figure out, well, let me see what week was that? That'd be week three. So I go to week three and I just copy and paste. And then what I do is after I've copy and pasted any of that, and then also looked at maybe stuff like, um, the, the recipes that I already have, like, let's just say the cracked chicken spaghetti. I'm gonna go over here and look for, there we go, chicken. And then I'm just gonna scroll down here until I see the words cracked chicken spaghetti. There we go. Copy. Ingredients, see what week is that? Yeah, week four, okay, ingredients. Click right here under week four, copy and paste. And so then after I get them all listed, then I'll go through um, and see what I actually need because I've already done an inventory of my refrigerator, freezer and pantry. Um, like for instance, you can see this under my freezer inventory. You can see how much, say like ground beef I have left, how much chicken I have left. And so then I just look at it, see, do I need more chicken? Do I need more ground beef? And I start compiling the actual grocery list right here on this page. So as you can see, this is uh, what we have for ingredients so far. And uh, this is Joel and Jacob's kind of like breakfast, lunch, snack food kind of stuff they want set the bottled water we don't typically buy bottled water but we're going into hurricane season so it's time for us to stock up for our hurricane stocks stock pile um so anyway uh so this is where we're going to stop right here because we've got a meal plan and we've got um uh and i'm just going to work off camera on moving all those ingredients over here to this page and you know, deciding what we need and what we don't need and stuff like that. And so in a second, we'll come up back on screen and I will just give you a little flash of what the new uh, grocery list will be. And then the next week, you'll see um, the actual grocery shopping. So be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss that. All right. So here, right here in front of our faces, you'll see 
the ingredient list or the grocery list that we have to go shopping for. And um, so come with us next week for our grocery hauls and uh, you'll get to see what kind of deals we find. All right, yeah, drop some comments below. Let us know how your meal plan goes, how you do it, uh, if you do it weekly or monthly. We watched a video the other day that, that somebody plans out their whole year. Um, they don't shop the whole thing, but they yeah. plan all their meals once a year. Yeah, so drop us some comments below. <laughs> let us know how, that, how that's going for you. Uh, but we're going to put a video up here that you can click. I have to say, as we say the thing we always say, that's going to do it today for the long run. I'm Joel. And I'm Christine. Don't forget the long run. Give yourself a little grace. Bye.